This video is to perform no load and block rotor test on three phase induction motor. The panel is of INSIF electronics and the induction motor used is of Crompton make with loading arrangement. And is of 1 horsepower. Now let's start the connections. Connect the input of three phase variac to the panel. And connect the output of variac to the panel as shown. As the connections are shown in the circuit diagram. Now connect the watt meters as shown. There are three wires from the induction motor, connect these wires to the motor symbol. If motor rotates in reverse direction then interchange the two wires of motor. What meter W2 has an option to interchange the coil connections, by toggling the switch to normal or reverse. For the tachometer readings paste the white tag on the pulley, so as to take readings. Now let's start the no load test. For that make sure the variac should be at minimum position and now switch on the panel by pulling up the MCB. And make sure all the pointers in the meters should be at zero position. And loosen the load on motor. There should not be any load on motor as we are performing no load test. Now increase the voltage by rotating the variac knob so that the voltage is 415 volts. Now note down the current and the watt meter readings. Use tachometer to check RPM of motor and the tachometer shows 1501 RPM the rated RPM is 1500. Now put some load on motor and take the readings and plot the graph.
as you can see, as the load is increased the speed goes down and the current increases. See the effect on different loads and make sure the current should not increase to the rated value that is 2 amperes. Now let's perform the block rotor test. Make sure the variac should be at minimum position and apply full load on the motor by rotating the handles and Now switch on the panel by pulling up the MCB. This is block rotor test so be careful while increasing the voltage as the current should not exceed the rating current. Increase the voltage carefully and stop increasing as soon as the current reaches to the rated current that is 2A. Note down the voltage it's about 110 volts and also note the watt meter readings. No load and block rotor test has been performed on one HP 3 phase induction motor. Thank you for watching the video.